But I'd like to welcome everybody to Walker's Playground. And it's I never imagined we'd get this many folks down here on such a cold, windy night. Uh, but it's great to see so many of Vaughn's friends and family here and guys that coached uh, with Vaughn and helped with Pony and Coat League over the years. Uh, this project, I'll just tell you real briefly about the project. Uh, this was a couple years in the making, but it, it really came out great. You're looking at about a half a million dollar investment in the whole complex. Uh, with the help of our state legislative delegation, I think they're mostly here. We were able to receive a POX grant from the Commonwealth for 400000 and then the city was able to match that with 100000 of our federal CDBG grant money. And uh, all together, we're able to do this project without using any local Brockton taxpayer revenues. So I believe this is the seventh now, seventh park and playground that we've been able to uh, renovate, rebuild. Everyone's been a little bit different. And uh, here, the diamond's been redone. It's, it has drainage now. Drainage was always a big problem down here. Uh, it has a drainage system built in now, the, the new benches. Um, there's some of the playground equipment. Some of the playground equipment was um, rehabilitated. Other is new. The basketball courts were redone. It's really a, it's really a great project down here. Um, but I really want to spend my couple minutes, I, I want to uh, talk about Mike Von George for a couple minutes before I turn it over. Um, Vaughn was a friend of mine for many, many years. Uh, besides the fact that it's cold tonight, I intentionally wore this Brockton Boxers jacket because I don't think anybody cared more about Brockton High Athletics and the Brockton Boxers than Vaughn did. And uh, Vaughn was an interesting guy, wore his heart on his sleeve kind of gave everybody a false impression sometimes of being kind of a tough guy or letting you know exactly what he thought uh, but when you got to know him he was th there was a great guy on the inside there a really caring compassionate guy and if you were his friend there was nothing he wouldn't do for you and he cared deeply about the city he cared deeply about the Brockton boxers and Brockton High School um, and he really cared also about Pony and Colt League Baseball. So four of my sons played both Pony and Colt Leagues. I spent quite a few years down here at Walker's along with O'Donnell's and across the street at North. But you know this Walker's was always the centerpiece field for Pony and Colt. This was, this was the best field. Uh, this is the one everybody loved playing at. And uh, Vaughn was certainly a fixture here all the time. And if he wasn't parked out beyond the right field wall watching from his van he was hanging down here back behind the backstop watching the game and talking to everybody and so uh, at the end of today's ceremony we'll ask the family to join us and we're going to unveil a very nice memorial plaque uh, that will remember Vaughn forever here right down I think what would be one of his favorite places in the world uh, right here at the Walker's Playground right down at the ball field so this is really the culmination of a lot of efforts by a lot of folks, and we truly appreciate everyone that uh, contributed to this project. Um, I'd just like to invite a couple folks up uh, for a few remarks. And uh, first, uh, I'd like to invite up Ward 7 City Councilor Shirley Asak. Councilor Asak has been a very strong supporter of this project. Thank you, Mayor, and welcome everybody. It gives me great pleasure to be here tonight and to see all of you, and it is a little chilly, so I won't be long, but um, I'm not going to repeat what the Mayor said. We all know all the um, facts about what went into getting this playground done, uh, but what I will tell you is that it's amazing to hear the positive comments that I heard about how wonderful the field is, how nice it is, and the play area for the kids, as well as the basketball court that has been redone. Um, I. I can't say enough. It's nice to see good things happening in the city, and this is one of them. So, it's a great day for Ward Seven. This is the second uh, second gr event today that I've had the pleasure of um, being at, and really welcoming something wonderful into the city. So, thank you. And um, I didn't know Mike Von George, but I've only heard wonderful things about him. And I know that the mayor and myself would not have had this reopening of this park without the rededication of his memorial. So. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Councillor. Thank you, Councillor. 
The, uh, I'd, I'd like to invite up now our, our state legislative delegation. They were also very instrumental in helping us to secure the funding uh, for this project through a state parks grant. So I know Mike, who knew Vaughn very well, and Representative Cronin, Representative Cassidy, I'd like to invite you to come up and uh, say a few words and make a presentation. We're all honored to be here and as a state delegation we're just a part of this team in Brockton and as was mentioned Vaughn was very active with Colt and baseball but he also was a big football fan and he, and he was up at the football games at Brockton I'd taken photos constantly and so forth but he was always supportive of all the youth and the sports in Brockton and as was mentioned I knew Vaughn way back when I was a young kid growing up in the neighborhoods and then when I worked with that Malaya News I was a lot thinner than I didn't, I didn't have any gray hairs and I didn't wear glasses in those days but we had a lot of great fun working at Malaya News together and he was always constantly talking about sports and also he spoke the truth as, as the mayor mentioned uh, there was no messing around Vaughn let you know how he felt but he had a big heart and we miss him dearly and uh, if we can invite the family up we have a citation this is for the family of Mike Vaughn George from the state delegation in recognition of the plaque dedication of Walker Playground in signifying Vaughn's devotion to and support of youth athletics in the city of Brockton. And this is from the state delegation. Thank you. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> just uh, Vaughn was a great guy. I just uh, wish I, I think he had more pitches than uh, than uh, Stanley Bowman. You know, <laughs> you know. I remember him up at the uh, the the high school taking all those pitches. My son used to play football and stuff like that. I said Mike, what do you what what, what do you do with those pitches? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. But uh, oh, are they? <laughs> all right. I'd like to see some of those. But uh, no, he was a great guy, and he'd always uh, talk uh, all all kinds of things about baseball. Where where the sun's going to be setting, that was one of his big things as far as this field. But uh, he's a great guy. Thank you. I'd like to just say ditto because I don't think you want to sit in this cold and hear of all of us this all the time. But, you know, thank you to the Von George family because uh, the heart and soul of this pack is dedicated to Mike. And uh, we just want to thank you for being here and thank the mayor and, and the mayor's staff who have done just a wonderful job. The, all the folks down at City Hall who you don't often see their names, I see them in the background, Jimmy, Rob, uh, Pam, Gurley, who I always call the, should always get the seventh player award. Uh, but thank you all for all you've done for this. We really appreciate it. Thank you. you know, Mike mentioned on Friday nights at this time of the year, you know that uh, Vaughn would be wherever the Brockton boxes were playing, that's where Vaughn would be on a Friday night. And uh, I had the pleasure of broadcasting boxer football on the radio for 17 years. I think I missed three or four games in 17 years. I know Vaughn missed less than that because he was always there always there shooting video some of the seasons as the videographer and other roles uh, occasionally interacting with the fans of the opponent <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was all came as part of the package uh, and, uh, and certainly the Malaire News days too he was uh, always coming by the radio station early in the morning uh, when he was out, uh, out doing his work so uh, we spent a lot of time together uh, I, we invited, uh, we wanted the family to also have a chance to participate this morning so I, we're going to invite Barbara up to say a few words on behalf of the Von George family I need glasses <laughs> um, thank you I'd like to take this moment to thank um, Mayor Carpenter, City Councilor Shirley Azak, City Councilor Tom Monahan, um, the legislative delegation that's here today, Lou Angelo, Billy Davin, the City of Brockton Parks Department, and all those who work to ensure that my brother Michael's lifetime of work on behalf of the youth of this city would be recognized. Thank you all for coming to honor my brother. I am sure he's here with us today in spirit and thrilled to know that his legacy will be remembered here at Walker's Playground. Um, 
This is the field he actually played on himself many years ago when he played city ball. As everybody knows, Michael's passion was baseball, and he was a ride-or-die Yankees fan. So it's only fitting that we honor him today as Red Sox Nation celebrates such an incredibly successful year. I'm not going to jinx it, and I'm not saying we're going all the way. I'm not saying that it's a sure thing, but um, I kind of feel like Mike's giving us this moment, and he stepped back, and he's letting us have our time. Um, Michael loved the city of champions and the youth of this city. We have always held the belief, though, that Brockton is called the City of Champions not just in recognition of the greats Rocky Marciano and Marvin Hagler, but it's the everyday champions that makes this city what it is. It's champions like my brother Michael, who work tirelessly to serve the city and this youth. Mike wanted young athletes to use sports to build their path to a successful future. And whether he met these young athletes through Brockton Pony Colt League Brockton High Athletics, or any of the numerous sporting programs in the city, Mike was their champion. He raised funds, donated his time, his energy, his money, and really his life to the youth sports programs in the city that he loved. I recently came across a napkin that Mike used um, to write a speech for some unknown function. <laughs> this was his speech, um, and these were the people who were expected to be there that night. I think his words best sum up his hopes for the youth of this city. He said, you're at a point in your life where everything you do will affect the rest of your life. So dream your dreams of being pro, but get your education because that is your future. Thank you all for coming. This is such a tremendous, albeit bittersweet, honor for Mike's legacy and especially for our family. Thank you. Well, thank you, Barbara. So at this time, we'd like to invite the, the Vaughn George family to come up uh, uh, to unveil the plaque. And I should mention, is Joe Angelo here? He's supposed to be here, but I don't think he's here. So we should be sure to mention that the plaque that you're going to see on the monument was not part of this project. The funds for that were actually raised a few years ago. Joe Angelo held a, uh, a fundraiser in Mike's memory at his place to raise the money for the plaque. And the plaque has been sitting in Joe's office for a while now, waiting for the, the right time and place. And, and uh, finally, we do have the right time and place tonight. But we want to be sure to uh, recognize Joe and, and his folks that actually privately raised the money to pay for the plaque. So we we'll invite the family to come up, and we'll invite everyone to come on up and see the plaque, and we'll unveil it.